Hey everybody, Dominic Williams here, going to be playing a little Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments today on the PlayStation 4. Um, won't lie, I, uh, my girlfriend played a little bit of this <laughs> game a while back and she said it was super janky and pretty sucky and she, she didn't even really get past like 10 minutes of it. So I thought, perfect, let's play that. This game features an autosave function. Do not exit the game or turn off the PlayStation 4 system while the save indicator is deflayed. Deflayed. Displayed. I always mess up something when I'm trying to read crap on screens. I, I don't know what that says. In memory of the Ukrainian Heavenly Hundred. I, I don't know what that means. Is that real? Frogwares presents... Crimes and This is a cool intro. It's like freaking uh Spider-Man! This is a Spider-Man intro! Look at it! That's great! What else had an intro like this? X-Men, I think. I think one of the X-Men or a couple of the X-Men movies had intros like this. Microsoft these aren't actual actors, these are just characters. I know my Sherlock Holmes. See, I'm actually a huge Sherlock Holmes fan. Um read all of the books, all of the short stories, seen all the old Basil Rathbone black and white movies, love the Robert Downey Jr. take on things, Jude Law, that was a fantastic duo, and love Sherlock, the BBC series is just, mwah, it's fantastic. Dang. Oh, what? Oh, this is weird. It's like a point and click game. Holmes, will you stop that? <laughs> this is such a bizarre intro. That bear head. Stop, Holmes. Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. <laughs> Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to Aim for them vases. Mm. Step. Oh, they're doing the Sherlock thing. That's kind of cool. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? They can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also Peter known Carey. as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only well, I'm a sexy bachelor. A who, client from the smartest man alive. I think I can shoot vases if I want. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? <laughs> I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Yes, Peter tell me Kelly, about Black Peter. Born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Ah, a Scandinavian. <laughs> he invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The Meddy men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Powder Reserve. I I is that like a gang? Here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. It's weird that everybody focuses on on Holmes. Because all the books are from Watson's perspective. 
I think in America and and in in this age where we don't actually read things. Speaking of which, I'm completely missing that. Press try, uh, square to open the casebook and check your current progress and blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. Investigate the murder. Inspect the crime scene. Select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe. My God, I will. That looks like a big map. This isn't a free run game, though. I don't think. Profile and documents. Oh, oh, oh! It's a dial. Oh, that's cool. All right. Well, can I just wear this? Cause I mean, my gosh, look at that telescope. Let me examine that. Oh God, that is not. What I mean. <laughs> that is not what I. Is she gonna be there again? Oh, she's still there! Why is she staring at me? Is she waiting? Is this a thing we do? I don't... I don't... I don't like that. That's horrifying. It's over here. Watson! You go Hudson. along to Peter Kerr. Oh, you... Mrs. Hudson and I name. take care of the... Mrs. Hudson. Oh, what a mess! What oh, a I pay money to rent here. Come off it, old woman. Where does this go? Home's room. Hmm. Nice, nice. Tidier than I would have expected. It's a freaking sweet fireplace, though. What a dope little fireplace in my room. I probably burn stuff down, though. <gasps> Wardrobe. Yes, there we go. A morning gown. Oh, it's locked. Gosh dang. I want the morning gown. Sailor outfit locked. Unbuttoned suit locked. Casual suit. Oh, the unbuttoned suit's pretty sweet. Casual suit. Black suit. Brown suit. Green suit. Gray suit. Light suit. Bandit outfit. Farmer outfit. And morning gown. Well, I guess just... I get... Well, is it it's the black suit or the light suit, I'm thinking? I'm thinking the light suit. To the makeup table. What? Change his hair? Why would I want to do that? Oh my god, yes. Yes, dude. Oh, it's locked. A bowl. Why are all the hats locked? That's the only thing you'd want to do. <sighs> Whatever. Two types of glasses. Is any facial hair unlocked? Nope. Well, this is worthless. All right, let's let's go. Whoa! What did that that? Oh, L one. It's like a super sense or something. Anywho, we're gonna walk around here. Uh, this is where I keep my post. Okay, that's nice. Doctor Watson's room. Let's how how, how, how have you been reading? You've been putting stuff in your diary about me again. I never told him he could publish that goes around making money off my name. It's just a washed up army surgeon. We all know you are, John. Uh, Woodman's Lee. Let's, let's do it. Weird camera angles here. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Is this gonna be Come grotesque? On. Join the Strahd. All right. What do you, what do you got there, gumshoe? My god, some pretty clear footprints. Holy crap. Dang. Whoa, that's cool. I can see things with my eye. Just having this garden. Anything to examine here? No? It seems that the garden was well maintained. Garden was well, well, yes, it was. Yes, it was. A capable guard. Oh, Gardner did it. Calling it. Unless it was suicide. Holmes? Yeah, that's right. You know, you know I'm here to do your job because you can't do it. That's why I got them baggy eyes. Some long nights. Having nightmares about me again, haven't you, Ben? I knew it. It's alright, I'll have my friend Watson. Cook up some medicine for you. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. 
I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My so condolences, Mrs. Mrs. Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm... Cameo. Birdhouse. Gardening gloves. Gardening gloves. She's a gardener. Something I'm missing up here, though. Wait, what's that first thing say? What? Skip? I don't want to skip. I get all the clues. Ah, Catholic. Crested, crested tit. Oh, it's a bird. <laughs> They're gone, right? Okay. I, I know there wasn't a gardener because she's had the stuff. Oh, that's not that. That's, so I've done all that. Anything unusual that night? Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Hmm. So he was drunk a lot. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and open oh, Hmm. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Interesting. But did she not have gardening gloves? Those look like womanly gardening gloves to me. Let me see it again. I don't... Those have got flowery things on them. I don't think those are man's gloves. And there's that bird. We gotta remember that freaking bird. That bird's something. That bird's something. Well, everything will you become You have indeed easier. suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Choose the evidence that confronts the statement of a character. You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. Oh, yes! So I'm so good at this. Thank you, madam. The Stroud is down there. Let's go 
examine him. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Yes, it does. Establish this. Peter oh. Carey's body is inside the cabin. All right, let's go. Let's go in. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper oh, with the Oh, because people can't get around locks. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Hmm. Told you, someone can be fooling with them locks. Door. <laughs> no dip, Sherlock. Uh, scratches. Yes, I see the scratches. What am I doing? I see the scratches. Yes, right there. That right? What am I supposed to be doing? Scratches. I see These the scratches. These scratches are fresh. How do you You're know right. Fresh? Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now, a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, hmm. he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have Why the Why right did you put tool? a good lock on there, Lestrade? Jeez. This guy's a crappy inspector. Whatever, let's just go. Let's investigate this crime scene. Oh, dang. What a terrible way to die. Is that a spear? Well, I'm going to do the, the least obvious thing first. I'm going to examine everything else except the body. The tooth a of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Seems like an empty shelf. Seems like possibly there should be something else on this shelf. Yes, look at that! Outline in the dust. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Alright, right on. Right on, look at me go. Examine this chest. What's in here? What we got in here? Peter Carey's boots? Peter Carey's boots. They look to be a size 8. Alright. Alright, what else we got? We got the Old navigation, navigation tools. instruments. Nothing interesting. Is that it? Is there nothing else? Okay. Those boots. Oh, we can match those up to those things outside. Alright. Oh, 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 wait, hold up. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn the for the sea years unicorn. 1878 to 1884. Peter it's Carey a sea unicorn. It's a, it's a freaking, uh, what do you call those things? Those, like, unicorn porpoises. Did he just, like, glitch move? I swear he, like, glitched move a second ago. Let's examine the table. Someone Drinking drank glass. from this glass recently. Alright. Someone drank from this glass recently. Same thing, all right. Tobacco pouch. Rotate the The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. PC. Who the freak is PC? Something to suck her up. What's inside? Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but... To recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. Yes. Boom! This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. Look at that. Using my psychic brain powers here. What kind of rum is this? A sailor's drink. Oh, it's rum. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. We already knew that, so at least... We know he was drinking. Is there anything else to examine here? I need to examine those boots against this before I examine the body. Let's examine these. 
Jeez. These boots don't match the footprints. Okay, so it wasn't. Uh, These footprints appear to be quite large. It wasn't Carrie. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but oh man, he's got one of those missing. Look at that. Harpoons one of those is in his chest. For hunting whales. Harpoons for hunting whales. Let's examine the dead man. Well. This man is in his fifties, yet he still looks quite strong. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. That seems to be a stretch. J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Hmm. Intriguing. What the crap's inside? Can I open it? There we go. These abbreviations mean something, but what? know what they mean. He has a knife. Could he possibly have been trying to defend this himself? This wooden handle is plain and solid. With the knife. And then... This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife. I thought so. Okay. Did not Look succeed. at me. I'm starting to... I'm getting these clues before, uh, you know, I'm told them. <laughs> Uh, okay. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. The weapon fully... Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. Okay. PC. That's... Where's our freaking... Where's the book? What was it? PC. If there's any freaking PCs on here. CP. And POT. Okay. GK. No PC. Hmm. Oh, wait. Friggin' Peter Carey. No. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so that was his. The murder weapon was probably taken from this rack. Inspect Woodsman's Lee completed. Oh, God. There's a map. Totally missed that. What's on the map? What's on the map? Dundee. 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 We got Crocodile Dundee. Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. Okay. That's nice. Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? Not. Wait, what does that mean? Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. Red collar signifies an unmatched. Okay. Homing reduction. Combination clues tracked down the body. Make an ambush. Ambush was made tonight to see if the break in attempt. Ha! Huh. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. All right. Well, I am going to leave it off right here, and uh, tomorrow we're going to go see, uh, or tonight I guess, tonight we're going to go see what's going to happen of this uh, little stakeout here, we'll see if uh, our dear Mr. Holmes can figure it out, look at that guy, that big brainy guy, anywho, 
This has been Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. Uh, this is actually super fun, I won't lie. This is intriguing. I am intrigued officially. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> I am intrigued officially. If you want to see more, let me know. What do you, who, who do you think it is so far? Because legit, it's just just his wife at this point, who's clearly lying about there being a gardener, or being no gardener, and him doing it alone, because she has gardening gloves, and there's no way one bro can have done all of this crap, especially when he's old like that. So, let me know who you think it is at this point, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. If you like this video, like this video! Comment, subscribe, all that great stuff, it really helps me out, and keeps me playing fun games! and solving murders, man. We gotta do what's good in the world. We gotta, we gotta be the good that we wanna see. Anywho, this has been Dominic Williams saying again, as always, stay tuned, people.